Sure you did. Good morning, I just killed this player getting a special item that can duplicate levels in Minecraft. Wait, what? On this server, levels equal hearts. So if a group of players got tons of the special item, they would be unkillable. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. All with the special item named an XP multiplier, which can duplicate your XP by up to 5,000%. So if I can get 25 of these, it will be enough to get my whole team to max multipliers. And luckily, I already have one from killing Boomy. Now, there's other methods of getting multipliers other than killing that we'll use later on, but for now, we're just gonna go after some players. Our first target being one of the deadliest players on the server, Skrilly. So I grabbed my teammate Falconu and we headed over to Skrilly's base. It's not moving. Moving. Dude, what if he's AFK, bro? Do we pot up? I mean, that's Actually, another. What if he's AFK? We gotta we make sure he's not. <gasps> he's moving. He's moving. I'm potting. Hey, Skrilly. Did I block this off? This top floor? I got him. I had killed Skrilly, and I don't know if anybody else could see, but he was kind of bad at the game. I'm not sure who just lied to me. After I killed Skrill, I had to look for my next target, and he just kind of fell into my lap. I right, so why is Willie killing me? No, I have to. I have to jump in if you, if you keep going. I have to. I'm not lie, but. <laughs> <laughs> what right, um. What was your plan? <laughs> What was your plan? Yo. After we killed Willy, everyone started to catch on about the fact that, like, we were killing everybody. So instead of jumping players like we've been doing, we decided to ask a team on the server for a duel. It would be me and my teammates Falconu, and Axo against Flamefrags, a top 200 PvP in the world, and Hero, a literal robot. So since the skill gap was so wide, we decided that our only mission was to kill Hero and get out. But before we even had the chance to fight, bro. Axel, what no. the f <laughs> What are you wearing? <laughs> Alright, so one of my teammates literally pulled up an iron armor, and yes, that ended exactly how you would expect. God! Okay, I got one! Okay. <laughs> no! Oh yeah, I completely forgot to mention that we're actually fighting them, and now we're a man down. Oh, it's so over for us, bro. But our mission still remained the same. Kill hero. <laughs> I'm dead, guys, I'm dead. Yo, I'm so actually sure number one thrower here. on the planet, bro. Oh, it's, it's over. Yeah, I already know. It's fun. It's fun. Before I died to flame, bro, you were kicked know. out of the team. <laughs> Hero! I don't know, I go into a cowboy, bro. Hero. Uh, here's all! Here's all! Here's all! Wait, you! Oh, oh my god! Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah, way! Yeah. That's not real! That's not real! That's not real! That's not real! That's not real. <laughs> How the hell? With 4 out of 25 multipliers done, a lot of progress had been made. Next step of the plan was to get away so I could use my next methods of getting multipliers. Me and Falcon could do it pretty easily, but my teammate Axel, on the other hand, who had just died, had respawned inside the village next to the fight, and he had just gotten killed again. With Axel dead once again, it really reminded me of why I was doing this whole thing in the first place. You see, when the server first started, I wasn't here. I was busy working on another video, so my team was left without me for two weeks. And during those two weeks, they had died multiple times. I couldn't help feel a little bit responsible for them dying. So not only am I getting all these multipliers to become the strongest team, but as a sorry to my team. Alright, done with the sappy stuff, we need to figure out another plan to get multipliers. See, killing players wouldn't work anymore because the entire server is on us. So I think it's time to implement method 2 of getting multipliers. Trading. On the server's since multipliers are such a valuable commodity, people will give you multipliers in return for something else. So I got right to work, making a thumbnail for a player named Lettuce K in exchange for a multiplier. Video progression. <laughs> Thank you, Lettuce. After I got the multiplier from Lettuce, I went to go look to make more deals with players. Now, coincidentally in a call, a player named Render needed something. Does anyone know quartz with mangrove swamp? This works out great because I have a mangrove swamp and I can get a multiplier out of it. And because of that, I really want to do this trade with him. But oh my god, let me tell you about one man named Big Spongs. I literally got in a bidding war with this guy to do a deal with Render. Words were exchanged in the process. I need this for my video. I need it for my video. Fuck you, Psycho. Screw you, Spongs. Psycho, you don't upload. Psycho, you don't upload. Uh, yo, what? Eventually, Spongs backed down and Render agreed to do the deal with me. Except, no. Render decided a multiplier was too much, so he went to go find the mangrove swamp himself so i responded by going to burn the entire forest down not my best moment but a problem arose when render found the swamp oh, um Falconu, render found me 
Little did I know that Render finding me was actually a blessing in disguise. On levels, you can't use elytras. If you're caught using one, you'll be banned for a week and stripped of your elytra for the rest of the season. And using the replay I just got in, I had concrete proof that Render was using his elytra. And you know what that means? Blackmail. So I sent the proof to Render and asked him to join VC. What's up? I render. I have proof of you using an elytra. So how about this? If you give me two multipliers, I won't send a screenshot to true. Okay. Just to make it clear, you want two multipliers. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna head over. At this point, I was feeling on top of the world. My master plan had completely worked. Except render is a lot smarter than he seems. Huh? Hello, boys. What is Hi, Axolotl. Alright, so Psyker, what if I snitch? on your teammate that he's also using an elytra and now your teammate doesn't have an elytra anymore you have proof yep i'm gonna send okay mm. i'm gonna let you think about it a bit more okay god damn yo, it why are you trying to yo, uh, why are you trying to get multiplies out of render bro it's not worth i it. told you i was doing this already render had reverse blackmailed us and there was nothing i could do i started this entire mission for my teammates and i couldn't let axel get his elytra taken away so we backed off that just sucks that just sucks for both of us. With my entire render plan and trading not really working out, I decided that'd be best to move on to my final method of gaining multipliers. Crafting. Apart from killing and trading, you can also craft multipliers with a two-step recipe. These recipes are so expensive that I only have enough to craft one. I need 19 more! Just like how I need 7,000 subscribers more to get to 10,000. If you guys can help me get there, you can also say that you were here since the beginning of my channel. So click the button, man. If I were you, I wouldn't want to forget about it later anyways back to going to get all the materials needed by going from easiest to get to hardest to get the first material i needed was experience bottles which is pretty easy to get from villagers the next easiest material to get was actually the totems of undying surprisingly because totems are really hard to get and to make farms would take like four days but thankfully my teammate actually just kind of conveniently found one look at the screenshot i'm not even joking that just saved me four days of time i actually have plot armor i quickly took advantage of this and got all the totems i needed with the first two materials out of the way i needed to get my third which were diamonds now diamonds by themselves aren't actually that hard to get i mean there's a vein right here and another one right there but to craft all the multipliers i need 76 diamond blocks or 684 diamonds that's a lot of diamonds man and fortune 3 on its own will not do that generally my next step would be to just put on some x-ray and mine some diamonds but on levels along with the multiplier plugin there's also an anti-x-ray plugin come on guys this is just making my life so much harder now i searched for ways to bypass this either hacks or mods but they were either outdated or actually just plainly didn't exist so i knew i had to get creative so i formulated a special plan to get diamonds quick first boot up two instances of minecraft one on the server and one on a creative world with the same seed on the creative world put on some x-ray and plot every coordinate of a diamond vein you see after switch back to the instance of minecraft on the server and go to each coordinates getting diamonds pretty quickly doing this for about four Four hours got me all the diamond blocks I needed. With diamonds done, it was time to move on to my next material, netherite. For the netherite, I used the exact same method I used for diamonds, and that got me all the ancient debris I would need. And for the gold needed in netherite, I just used a gold farm somebody had made, which I used to craft the netherite. This feels wrong, bro. With most of the materials I needed already collected, there was only one final thing I needed, the wither skulls. The reason why I left this for last and why it's the hardest material to gather is because I need seven 76 wither skulls. Since all the skulls would take way too long to gather by hand, I would have to build a wither skeleton farm. I've built these farms in the past for other videos, but I haven't had to build a farm quite like this one. Because for this design, I have to locate a fortress, but instead of just building a platform and connecting some portals like for my other farm, I had to cover the entire fortress in buttons. This is gonna take a while. After hours and hours of placing buttons, I was finally done. If I'm being honest, I think I'm gonna head out for the night. I got a math test I gotta study for. At least I'm done. Now that I'd covered the entire fortress, I could move on to the actual farm part. Oh, by the way, I aced that math test. Let's go. Now that I had started and I had the confidence of my math test behind me, I finished the farm in just a day. Uh, it is the moment of truth. I just have to wait for them to come through, hopefully. Wait, they're actually- Oh my god, they're coming through. Yes! <laughs> Wither skulls finally! After getting confirmation it worked, I AFK'd for 4 hours to get all 76 skulls. But now that I had the skulls, I could craft 
all the rest of the multipliers. And finally, I could give my apology to my team and we could become the strongest on the server. When I joined the server a few weeks ago, we fought Flame and Hero and Axo died twice in that fight, which, which really made me realize that we need to be the strongest team on the server, but we clearly do not have the strongest members, the best players. So I knew I had to figure something out to make us the best team on the level this would be. So if you follow me, you follow me. Welcome to the multiplier vault. What, what is Oh my how? goodness. How did you <laughs> Holy holy so take, awesome. take some multipliers, guys. Take some multipliers. Oh these are not there's no way this is real. Wait. They're real. We what? are now the strongest team on the server by far.